a secret meeting, a billion-dollar signature, and two of the most visionary minds on Earth finally crossing paths. What started as a rumor in underground tech circles has now exploded into a global revelation. The hidden email trail. Weeks before the news broke, confidential emails began circulating inside Tesla's internal network. Engineers whisper about an Afghan energy prototype, one so advanced that even Tesla's own R&D team couldn't replicate it. According to leaked documents, a Tesla consultant in South Africa had stumbled upon Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered EV demonstration, a vehicle that ran indefinitely without charging using a mysterious energy conversion system. When Musk himself reviewed the footage, insiders say he froze, then asked just one question. How is this even possible? The secret meeting in Nevada, it wasn't long before a private jet departed from Harare, Zimbabwe, headed straight for Nevada. Waiting inside Tesla's Giga Lab were three of Musk's top engineers, and a man who had been quietly working for decades to rewrite the rules of energy, Maxwell Chikambutso. The atmosphere was electric. On one side, Tesla's brightest, on the other, a humble inventor whose workshop looked nothing like Silicon Valley's glass towers. When Maxwell unveiled his compact self-powered generator, small enough to fit inside a backpack, yet capable of powering an entire car, the room fell silent. Then, one of Tesla's lead physicists whispered, This breaks every known law of thermodynamics. Musk leaned forward, intrigued, almost amused. Then, maybe it's time the laws evolved. The $1 billion agreement. Days later, sources claim a non-disclosure document was drafted. Tesla's offer was staggering. $1 billion in exchange for collaboration, shared patents, and exclusive development rights to integrate Maxwell's technology into future Tesla models. The deal wasn't just about cars. Musk envisioned something far larger, a decentralized energy future. Imagine home cities, and even spacecraft powered by the same infinite energy principle. No grid, no emissions, no limits. Chikambutso, who once struggled to find support in his own country, suddenly had the world's richest innovator extending a hand of partnership. But it wasn't blind admiration. Musk wanted results, scientific validation, replicability, scalability. And so began a new chapter, Tesla and Maxwell's Silent Alliance. The technology behind the curtain. Maxwell's device, according to insiders, uses magnetic resonance energy amplification, a process that taps into electromagnetic fields in ways conventional science barely understands. During tests inside Tesla's Nevada lab, engineers witnessed something unprecedented. A modified Model S ran for weeks without a single charge, while instruments showed energy being generated, not consumed. That's when one engineer, stunned, turned to Musk and said, Sir, this car doesn't drain energy, it creates it. Musk didn't reply immediately. He simply smiled. Then, gentlemen, we just entered the infinite era. Global shockwaves. As whispers of the deal began to leak, major automakers from Germany, Japan, and the U.S. scrambled to verify the claims. Governments demanded proof. Stock markets trembled. Oil companies privately held emergency meetings. For the first time in modern history, the future of a global energy monopoly was being questioned. Not by a superpower, but by an African inventor and a billionaire who decided to believe in him. Meanwhile, Tesla quietly filed several new patents, ones referencing non-depleting electromagnetic propulsion systems. The documents listed both Elon Musk and Maxwell Chikambutso as co-authors. And deep within Tesla's Nevada facility, a prototype marked Project MX rolled out for its first real-world test. Project MX, the silent rollout. The Nevada desert stretched endlessly under the afternoon sun. Dust shimmered in the distance as a sleek, matte black prototype car rolled out a guarded hangar. Tesla Project MX. No charging ports. No exhaust. No sound. Only a faint hum, like magnetic resonance pulsing through air. A handful of Tesla engineers stood by, joined by Maxwell Chikambutso himself. Elon Musk arrived moments later, hands in pockets, his expression unreadable. Let's see what the impossible looks like, he said. A driver stepped in, pressed the ignition, and instantly, the vehicle came alive. The dashboard showed full energy capacity, 
100%, and stayed that way. Minutes passed, then hours. Still no drop. The car accelerated across the desert track, leaving no emissions, no heat signature, and yet maintaining full torque. Engineers stared at their data monitors in disbelief. One whispered, It's not using energy, it's feeding itself. Musk glanced at Maxwell. The Zimbabwean inventor simply smiled. Told you, he said softly. The leak that changed everything. That same evening, while data logs were being uploaded to Tesla's internal servers, a single clip, just 14 seconds long, was copied and sent anonymously to a global tech forum. Within hours, it was everywhere. The clip showed the Project MX driving continuously, while a Tesla engineer repeated, No recharge. No plug. Still running. Hashtag Project MX trended across X, YouTube, and Reddit. News outlets scrambled for verification. Some called it fake. Others called it a historic leap. Elon's phone lit up with messages from reporters, government officials, and energy lobbyists. Musk, typically quick to respond, stayed silent. Behind the scenes, however, a storm was brewing. The global scramble begins. In Washington, D.C., a confidential meeting was held between energy regulators and defense contractors. The topic, non-depleting energy technology, threat or opportunity? In Beijing, analysts tried to replicate the calculations visible on Tesla's leak data board. In Berlin, Mercedes and BMW engineers dissected every frame of the clip, searching for clues. Meanwhile, in Africa, Maxwell's hometown erupted in celebration. Local media declared, the world finally sees what Africa can build. But in the shadows, oil conglomerates began making calls, offering to buy out patents, suppress footage, or negotiate licensing rights that would keep control centralized. Maxwell refused every offer. He had one condition. The world must use this freely, not for profit, but for progress. Musk didn't argue. He understood the gravity of what they'd unlocked, something beyond commerce. Pressure on Tesla. Tesla's board of directors was divided. Some feared the potential collapse of existing energy partnerships. Others saw a trillion-dollar opportunity to dominate the future. When the Department of Energy requested an immediate inspection of the Project MX facility, Musk agreed, but on his terms. They can observe, he said, but they won't understand it yet. For the first time, U.S. government scientists stood beside African engineers, examining a system that defied every conventional model of physics. The readings made no sense. Input was less than output. Entropy was reversed. A senior scientist finally turned to Musk, speechless. Mr. Musk, this isn't just new energy. This is post-energy. The night before the announcement, the day before the global press conference, Musk and Maxwell met privately in a dimly lit lab. The prototype glowed faintly in the background, silent, steady, eternal. Musk broke the silence. They're going to come after us. You know that, right? Maxwell nodded. They already are. But once the truth's out, there's no turning back. Outside, a storm gathered over the desert. Reporters camped near the gates. Inside, two men, one from Silicon Valley, the other from Harare, prepare to change the world. As midnight struck, Tesla's servers began uploading encrypted blueprints titled Project MX, Global Open Source Initiative. The file was massive, schematics, materialists, even magnetic configuration data. Once online, it couldn't be stopped. And with a single keystroke, the future of energy became free. The world reacts. The moment Tesla's servers released the Project MX files, the world went silent then exploded. Within minutes, millions of downloads began flooding the system. By sunrise, engineers from Tokyo to Lagos were examining the open-source blueprints, trying to decode the technology behind an engine that never runs out of energy. News anchors stumbled over their words. Tesla and Zimbabwean inventor Maxwell Chikambutso have just made all existing power grids obsolete. Stock markets trembled. Oil prices crashed overnight. Energy corporations lost billions in hours. But in Africa, something different was happening. 
Workshops, universities, and small inventor labs were already experimenting with the schematics, building miniature replicas of the self-sustaining system that Maxwell had once constructed in secret. The story was no longer about Tesla. It was about a global shift, and Africa was suddenly at the center of it, the White House Emergency Meeting. In Washington, the U.S. president convened an emergency session. Defense analysts, economists, and NASA representatives filled the Situation Room. The atmosphere was electric. Everyone was trying to understand one thing. Is it real? A scientist from the Department of Energy stood up. Mr. President, the data checks out. The power loop is perfectly closed. No loss, no waste. It's unlike anything we've seen. Silence followed. Then, the Secretary of State broke it. If this spreads unchecked, our entire energy infrastructure collapses. But across the table, a young advisor countered, or it evolves. That single line changed the tone of the meeting, because what had started as a panic now looked like an opportunity. The birth of a new world order powered by limitless clean energy. The African Breakthrough Centers. Across Africa, governments began constructing energy innovation hubs, inviting young engineers to study the open-source project MX Files. Maxwell's hometown of Harare became a pilgrimage site for scientists and journalists alike. Footage emerged of children powering streetlights using hand-built microgenerators. Small farms began running entire irrigation systems on modified MX units. Villages that once relied on diesel now had permanent power. CNN called it the day the lights never went out in Africa. Meanwhile, Maxwell kept working quietly in his lab, refining the design, making it smaller, cheaper, and more accessible. He was no longer chasing profit. He was chasing possibility. The message to humanity. A week later, the two men appeared together for a global broadcast. Elon Musk from California, Maxwell Chikambutso from Harare. Behind them, glowing holographic models of the project MX Generator spun slowly, representing the union of Silicon Valley precision and African innovation. Maxwell spoke first. The power that sustains this planet was never meant to be owned. It was meant to be shared. Then Musk added, We've spent a century chasing energy. Now we set it free. Billions watched. Some cried, some cheered, but one thing was certain, the world was no longer the same. The global energy war begins. Within days of Maxwell and Musk's global announcement, chaos spread to the world's power structures. Oil conglomerates declared economic emergencies. Governments began imposing energy control acts, legal frameworks to regulate the open source project MX systems. But it was too late. Millions of people had already built their own mini-generators. From South America to Southeast Asia, homes began running off-grid. Businesses cut their ties with national utilities, and remote African villages suddenly found themselves more energy independent than entire European cities. The revolution that began as a collaboration between two men had become unstoppable. The turning point. Tensions rose. The International Energy Council called an emergency summit in Geneva, demanding that Maxwell and Musk suspend all further distribution, but both refused. Maxwell stood on stage, looking across a sea of powerful delegates, oil executives, energy ministers, CEOs of fossil fuel giants. His words were calm but cut deep. For centuries, energy has been your weapon. From today, it becomes humanity's right. That moment went viral. Billions watched it replayed across every major news network. Even critics fell silent. Meanwhile, in the background, Tesla's new wireless resonance network began its pilot phase, silently transmitting power across cities in California, Nairobi, and Tokyo. It was the world's first invisible grid, running without fuel, cables, or sun. And it worked. The final message. Years later, children across Africa learned about the Project MX revolution in school. The once impossible dream of free, infinite energy had become an ordinary reality, powering drones, vehicles, homes, even satellites. A documentary played globally, the day the world ran forever. It ended with a simple clip, the same footage that started it all. A small, self-powered car driving endlessly through a dusty African field, its battery never dying, its journey never ending. Narrator's voice echoed softly. Some inventions change technology. 
Others change humanity. The camera panned upward from the glowing car, past the horizon, into the endless blue sky. And in that infinite expanse, the world realized the real power wasn't electricity. It was freedom 